In this video, we will look at uh, how do we export uh, results from LD Spice to a text file and then take that data into Excel and then we'll see if we can uh, also learn how to import data from Excel into MATLAB. So this is the same circuit that we saw in an earlier video about the tolerance of resistors and how we simulate that using LD Spice. So if I run this simulation, I get all my data, which I can uh, export as a text file. And say here I'm interested in Vout and IR2, resist, uh, current to resistor R2, and I'm only interested in uh, first run of this experiment. So I have these two um, th waveforms that I want to um, export the data to a text file to. So when I say OK, uh, it says, I, you know, it, I already did this, so I'm going to replace that file, say yes. And when I look back at that same file, I'm going to look at this data. So this is how you export uh, data from at least files to a uh, text file. Uh, I don't really need this information um, saying that it is the first run, so I'll delete that. And I have all the other uh, results here. So I'll save this file as a text file. In the first column, I have input port degree in, going from 1 all the way down to 5 volts. I have in the second column the out, so that's the voltage across R resistor R2 in the second column. And the third column is the current through resistor R2, so that's all the way to the end. So, if I was uh, taking this data into Excel, I would essentially select all the data, copy it, so Control C, and then I'm going to open up Excel, a blank sheet, and then essentially just paste this into Excel. So once I paste this into Excel, um, I will see all the data. Um, and I could also change the names here. So instead of VV out, I can just simply make this V out and I can call this I out. So those are my names and then all the other uh, rows in this file correspond to uh, the simulation results. I have all 42 rows here. Um, I'm gonna save this uh, file to say desktop I'm going to call this test data, Excel file, save it to desktop. Yes. And I have that Excel file on my desktop now. Now, how do I take this to MATLAB? So open up MATLAB. And if you go on to this home button right at the top, you have an option to import data. So click on that. Once you click on that, uh, it's going to ask you what data you want to import. So I'm going to select my test data file that I just saved my data to, and I'm going to open it. Once you say open, it's going to take a bit of time, but it's going to open up this wizard, which says, uh, this is all the data that MATLAB sees in that file. And there are essentially three columns named V in, V out, and I out. And I'm happy with those names. Uh, you would also go ahead and change those names if you wanted to. Uh, so it really depends on uh, the names that are of your choice. Um, but I want all of this data, which is from ring A2 to C42. So A2 is right here, and then C42 would be all the way over here. So I have all that data over there. So let me just highlight it back again so that I have all the data being imported into a MATLAB column vectors in, in the form of a column vector. Uh, you could also import it as a, a matrix, but then you will have to uh, separate that column into each name. Um, if I select column vectors, then I'll see three column vectors with the names V in, V out, and I out one for now. Uh, so once I'm happy with that setup, uh, I click import selection. And now it says I have three uh, column vectors in MATLAB called V in, V out, and I out one. 
So let me take a look at MATLAB workspace and I see three column vectors and the reason they are column vectors is because just one column and in each column vector I have 41 values for V in, V out and I out. So now I could uh, plot these values and I could uh, process them. So for example, if I wanted to see what is in V in, I could just say plot V in and you'll be able to see the plot for V in. Uh, right now scanning from one volt all the way to five volts. Uh, and right now the x-axis is simply the sample number. So the first value, the second value, third value, all the way to the 41st value in VN. Uh, so that's a quick video about how to get data uh, from LDSpice to Excel and then finally to MATLAB to do some processing. All right, I hope this uh, video was helpful.